Hey, what is going on, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online? You're here with Blake Toast 84 and we're going to be doing an ability card review for Necessity Breeds Tier 3. Uh, so we're going to go top down, we're going to read the card, talk about the pros and the cons, and how we could use this card uh, with other ability cards. So this is a combat or an offensive ability card, Necessity Breeds 3. As you get closer to death, you start to do much more damage. So that is the breakdown of this card. So obviously, if your health is down low, this card will allow you in return to do more damage to your opponent. So it has the potential to be uh, really good. I don't see people using it that much anymore. It used to be pretty popular. Again, you're in the headshot era of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, so, you know, how often are you know you getting shot five or six times before you die how many times do you get shot one time your hat falls off and then you move around a couple seconds later you're dead you get shot again so um, I know there was a time in Red Dead Online where there was a lot of fist fighting in the game people would meet up in places like San Denis or outside the roads post office so on and so forth and you'd get in a big circle and get into a big fist fight this card was cool for that because you'd be getting whooped on and the next thing you know you turn it up a notch you're dealing a ton of damage so um, this isn't a card I keep in my rotation anymore as you can see I have it at tier 3 which means I've used it quite a bit in the past um, I'm kind of in the process of getting all my cards in tier 3 uh, but with that said I would say um, this card would be good if you use pistols a lot well I'm not sure what that was sorry about that if you use pistols a lot guys I'd say this card um, might be helpful if I were to I'm really having a hard time explaining how I'd use this card because I feel it's just kind of like maybe maybe paint it black or slow and steady would be your top ones for this uh, maybe focus fire that's pretty much an offensive card too uh, the backup cards I would go with this is definitely never without one probably peak condition um, or maybe winning streak because you do uh, each consecutive shot on the same target not any target but the same target does much more damage than the last so you could probably run this with uh, peak condition or winning streak because you're going to be doing more damage it, it's just hard <clears throat> you know if you use this in close quarter combat someone could break out a shotgun blow you in half in one shot it, you know if you try to use this as a ranged card a lot of times people are just going to shoot you in the head so it, it's for me it's really hard to figure out how I'm even going to use this card in today's landscape um, like I said, I pretty much only used it to get in fistfights. So, as you get closer to death, you start to do much more damage. So, would you want to, you know, run it with all offensive cards and just roll the dice and hope you don't... Pretty much hope you don't get hit in the head or maybe leave it with, uh, maybe leave it with slow and steady and hope you don't get hit in the head. Uh, maybe instead of winning streak... Maybe you could do the hack card. Maybe this could be a pretty good setup for Necessity Breeds. I don't really know. I'm just so far removed from using this card in my rotation. I don't really have the best answer for this, and that's an honest thought. So, again, I like the card. It has its place, but in a game where headshots are king, or queen, or whatever, um, how can you implement this card in your rotation? If you do and I'm missing something, I'm blatantly missing something, guys, leave a comment. Tell me what it is. I'm just not seeing it today. So, uh, again, this is Blaketoast84, and this is my review of Necessity Breeds. Like, dislike, comment, don't subscribe, don't subscribe. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the trail.